Exotic animals are confiscated every day by the Arizona Game and Fish Department and partnered agencies. According to the Phoenix Herpetological Society, the highest number of captured animals in one day was 32 alligators and 80 snakes. Daniel Marchand cares for exotic animals like alligators, turtles, and snakes. His passion for reptiles started at a young age when his dad built their property in the desert. The only thing that was out here were reptiles and, and other things in the desert, but I focused primarily on reptiles and learned about them and enjoyed them because it was kind of the only thing I had to do on the weekend. His passion has helped many exotic animals here in the valley who were once illegally the pets of local residents. They come from all over and for many different reasons. Um, a number of animals here in Arizona that we have at our facility currently uh, come through confiscations, obviously. Arizona has strict laws about the possession of exotic animals. The animals on that list are, are typically those that, if possessed, would either pose a risk to human safety or would pose a risk to native wildlife populations. When a species is reported in a residential home, the Arizona Game and Fish Department becomes involved and a case is created against the pet owner. We handle these types of issues because we have the statutory authority and responsibility to do so. These animals come from all over the world. Some are even shipped by standard mail. People buy things, they, they get too big, they get afraid of it. Whatever the reason is, then they have the tendency they want to turn it loose. To avoid any animal attacks, these departments and societies get involved to keep residents safe and prosecute owners. But the pets never go back to their native environment. Well, they basically become evidence, just like anything else, like if it were drugs or guns or anything like that. Um, that's evidence held against that person to show that they did have it and it was an illegal thing that they did. And that evidence leads to charges. As for this latest case involving the Bengal Tigers and Gilbert, the alleged owner now faces charges including illegal possession of restricted wildlife and forgery. Live in the Broadcast Center, I'm Katrina Arroyos, Cronkite News.